Kimberly Wilson with Tranquility Du Jour TV, and I'm excited to share that I'm with the lovely Melissa Van Orman, who's going to show us how to make green smoothies and the beautiful new Vitamix that I got for the holidays. So I'll turn it over to you, and I think we're okay. going to make two tonight, right? Yeah, we're going to do two smoothies. Um, one is going to be a creamy mango, and the other is going to be chocolate spice. Um, and it's great to work with a Vitamix. These are just crazy strong blenders. They can blend up bricks. I mean, they're just like, you know, can blend up anything. And it's nice because you can get um, greens in your diet in a really easy way. Um, so it's nice. These are all things that you can just have around your house. They're not any sort of fancy special ingredients. Um, but it makes a really quick, really delicious, really easy breakfast or snack. And, um, and I like it because, you know, being a yoga teacher, and I know you know this really well, um, it's uh, really, you know, you work at night, you don't have time for sort of normal kind of sit-down meals. Right. And so this is a really great way to get your vegetables, get little fruit and just have something nutritious and quick. Yay! So, um, and the Vitamix really makes this possible. So we're going to start with some spinach and I definitely recommend working with spinach as the base to your smoothies okay. um, because it's creamy and it's sweet. I mean, not, I mean, not sweet, sweet, right, not like right. donuts. Um, but you can Unfortunately. use <laughs> you can use other greens. But I find that the spinach actually works well with other fruit flavors. So the fruit um, masks the the green taste of the spinach. Okay. But then the spinach kind of takes the the sweetness off of the fruit just a little bit. So it's nice. So um, let me. I'll give this to you. Okay. And just dump a whole bunch of spinach into the Vitamix. Space. Like half or. Yeah, we'll do half for this smoothie and half for the other. So okay. it's great. Like, you normally wouldn't sit down and eat that much spinach, but the blender just whips it up, and so it's really easy, really quick. Is that good? Great, yeah. So, so that's the start. And then let's do the the uh, mango one. First. Okay. Okay? So then you just take some frozen mango. You could use fresh, but it's nice because you can just have these in your freezer and you don't have yeah. really have to think about it. Um, this, the, these ones got a little soft, so they're not entirely frozen, because you just put in the mangoes. The whole bag? Um, well, probably not the whole bag, but it's really to taste, so okay. you can do it, and if it's not sweet enough, then you can put more mangoes in, and the mangoes are good because they're really creamy and sweet. And then the other thing that I like to put in my smoothies is avocado. I know this sounds crazy, um, but again, the avocado um, just provides this nice creamy richness to mm. it. It gives some good fat so you can absorb all the good nutrients and the spinach and the fruit. Um, and it, it's also, you just don't really get the, the flavor. So the key is not to use too much or it will taste like you're drinking guacamole. <laughs> mm. That sounds kind of yummy yeah. too. So why don't you take just like this half and Oh, I've never in. done this you before. Can do it. Okay. So first you have to cut it though, right? Like you did. Yeah. So just slice it. Is it okay? I got a little of the... Yep, yeah. that's fine. Yay. Okay. Get my avocado. And then the other thing I like to put in my smoothies um, are um, flavor extracts. And so you can go crazy with this. You could do coconut, you could do oh. all sorts of different flavors. But vanilla is nice. And I like to get the alcohol-free um, types because... We're not cooking this, and so you don't want like a shot of bourbon. And right, maybe you do, right, but right. Um, it does sort of affect the flavor. And I don't really ever measure anything, so I just sort of dump it in. And you can just pick those up at like Whole Foods. This one you'd have to get at Whole Foods okay. or um, another health food store to get the alcohol-free um, option. But everything else, I got everything else at Safeway. And then, then you put a basin of milk. Um, okay. And I love almond milk. Um, this is just sort of one that you can buy. Again, this was just at Safeway. Um, sometimes you can you can do fresh nut milks if you want to make it all raw or just all natural and really mm. fresh, and I do that a lot. Um, but that's a little bit more work. Not much more, but this is quick and easy. But the other thing is if you don't have this, you can just use water. So okay. it all works out well. So I'm going to dump in about a cup. And if we need more, we can add more. And then just because these mangoes were a little bit soft, I'm going to put in just a few ice cubes. Okay. And then if you want it sweeter, you can add some agave. So I'll let you decide how sweet you want. 
The fruit itself can be sweet enough, um, but sometimes it's nice to have just a little. Absolutely. Extra. Okay, so are you ready for no this? No banana. That's for the next oh, one. Oh yes, thank you. You want to put a banana? In. Just one. Um, two. Yeah, let's put two in. And the thing that's great about bananas is the bananas that you have in your house that are old and brown, you can um, just dump these oh, in right. as well. Oh, right. They're perfect. Um, and you can freeze them. And frozen bananas make a really fabulous creamy base. Oh, great good. Smoothie. Oh, you're supposed to trim it? Oh, no. Again, this will whip everything up. Okay. And then I'm just going to take the top off here. And this is the plunger. So sometimes this is really powerful, but things do get stuck. Yeah. Um, so you can just put this down here. And it's kind of fun. You just sort of shove everything down in. So you have to put that on top, right? Yeah. Um, okay. Are you ready? So which one just left or right? Okay. So this is the on-off, and then this is for this particular model, um, low or high. So two speeds. Start low. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then um, we'll give it a quick shot. Of okay. A little bit more. Okay. Ready? want to check and see kind of what the texture is. Looks pretty good. I'm just going to give it one more quick shot. Okay. So it's really green. Wow, it's very green. <gasps> and then pour you a quick glass. And you just try it and see. And if it's not sweet enough, then you can add more mango. Um, you can add more agave. If it's too thin, you can just put more spinach or another banana. It's so mango-y. Yeah. I love the mangoes because it just makes it really mm. creamy and fresh. Sometimes I put a little um, lemon in when I work with mangoes, too. Um, wow. Because the, the lemon makes it just really fresh. And even sometimes just like a little pinch of sea salt can be mm. nice, too. So you can just play with balancing the flavors in any way you want. So I'll just and you always have to rinse that, huh? Yeah. And then you want to rinse your Vitamix right away because the fiber from the vegetables and the fruit sort of will plaster on the sidewall. So. Oh, okay. So you do want to do it. But let me see how it tastes. It's so yummy. Cheers. Yum, that's good.